Cosmetics Obsidian Black. The mocha color is also stunning. So if you order the Gem 80 keyboard kit, you get one Gem 80 keyboard kit, one USB-C data cable, one 2.4G receiver, you get a keycap and switch puller, three extra switches, five silicone sets, one screwdriver, you get an extra foot pad set, a quick guide, a Q&A, and an installation guide. So you get, I think, like you built the keyboard base. So you can be very specific with this and customize it, of course. Whatever shall I do? I don't know which I'm gonna... So I think you get base options. We're gonna see. Found my scissors. This is really nice packaging. 
silicone beans, but with 70 hardness. And then here you get the wire if you want to go with the wired option for your keyboard. Why is Bluetooth not working? Why is the connection spotty? Why can't I connect with 2.4G? explain a lot of things in here, which is great. Okay. It's like building a Lego set. Kind of fun. And they explain everything. There is no need to remove the keycaps and switches from replacing the mounts. So I'm pretty sure this isn't necessary from the start. So based on this, I don't think this is necessary for me. Yeah, so this is when you want to reassemble and replace things and get into like the main works of everything. So I'm going to install it in the basic way though. sound so nice already. They say new fee at the top if you look very closely so you know that the new fee part goes on top when you pop them in, but it's not hard at all. Obviously this is the Gem 80. Came with 90. I believe there's, okay, there's three in here still, and I think there's like two on my floor from when I, when they exploded everywhere. Mystic Indigo. Double shot PPT keycaps. I love the packaging of the gems. Let's put these on. It sounds so nice. You can hear the difference between, I think this is the mint one. smaller, it's actually a little bit heavier. which is 
think I'm going to do this part soft spoken because I'm kind of far from the mic, but it, don't worry, it's going to be soft, soft. So here is the Gem 80 by Nuhi Studio. I love it. I think it sounds so amazing. I love the thockiness of it. These are the Raspberry PBT keycaps by Nufi as well. It's not an overly big keyboard. I would say that this doesn't eat up too much desk space. It's not like a 90% or anything, 100%. Uh, it's, I would say it's perfectly in the middle, but again, if you want something a little bit more compact, maybe this wouldn't be for you. Gotten keyboards before where the packaging is not too great. This was really protected and well packaged. That was a plus. It came with all the tools you need. Again, I didn't know what some of them were for, but I'm also not the type of target person to get a buildable, customizable base. So someone who is in that field of liking keyboards would already know what those things are. But the instruction manuals explain it all, which is great. They explain the light options, which is very helpful. My one thing was installing the caps key. It has two punched in holes, so you can either put the switch on one side or the other side. I'll show you as I talk. So you're not really sure what side to put it on, but if you put it on the left side, obviously the keycap won't fit on top, but then the right side, it was a little wonky putting it on. So at first the keycap wasn't working when I set it up with my computer, but once I switched out the switch and carefully popped it in, it worked. I was able to carefully just pick the right hole. So. Yeah, but it was a little wonky at first. That was one con, I would say. Just the key, the caps key. And I saw a couple of other reviews also had a little bit of trouble installing that one specifically. So I don't know if that's a, um, a cosmetic mistake where they punched in two holes. Because it's only supposed to fit one switch here. It's not supposed to be two. But there's two punched holes. Don't know why. So that's one cosmetic con that kind of threw me off the next one and i saw a couple of people say this too these are very tucked away so you have to shift your whole keyboard to look so for someone with the wired that might be annoying to flip around your keyboard for someone like me i prefer over bluetooth the 2.4 g just flip around my keyboard and look if i need to look not the end of the world i tested out bluetooth with my mac works amazing. However, I prefer 2.4G connection, and as you can see, I connected that with my PC, and it works amazing. It works smooth, runs smooth, typing is very smooth, but I went with all normal profile, but these, like the page down, page up, they came with a stubby, a thinner version, but yeah, it connected super quick, super easy. I kid you not, I plugged in the 2.4G, and immediately connected to my um, computer. It looks great. The wrist rest is stunning. Longer to fit this one compared to my Halo 75. It's been working great. I really like it. Guys, I thought the size was going to be too kind of long, sort of, for my desk, but it's still pretty compact. Keep in mind, though, you're paying $149.95 for just the base and all the tools. You have to pay extra, a $15 extra fee for the switches, and then another and then another 15 for the keycaps. However, with the Halo 75, you get the keycaps included and you choose what switches you want within it for the 129 total. So obviously a price, huge price difference, 129.95 compared to like 180-ish, you know what I mean? However, I will say this is clearly a more professional keyboard. This came with a lot more tools. The base came with the silicone pads, all the little tools, things like that. Came with three instruction manuals, came in, came with a freaking wrapped cloth on it. My bad. It is actually 169.95 for the bare bone, um to be Bluetooth and 2.4G. If you just want it to be wired, it is the 159. So yeah, you're paying almost $200 for this keyboard. If I wanted to actually build it, if I was into modding more and wanted a bare bone, however, you can get just the base and add in your switches and keycaps. And the bare bone that you would get on its own is compatible with a lot of things. So that's why it's that price as well, because you can add in any switches you have and any keycaps you have. So yeah, but you are, if you are in spend on the gem 80 you do see that it is worth it and really great quality 
to set up. It's really, really nice. Nonetheless, I really recommend it. Another pro is that I borrowed my brother's ghost bar, which is the softer space bar, but the Gem 80 already comes with a ghost bar, so that's a pro. An aluminum chassis and a PC bottom case. Double shot PPT keycaps, like I said. It comes with both Mac keys and window keys, which is also very great. The LED homing bars, I'll show it again. It has the two lights on those. And of course, because of the new switches, it sounds super thocky. I absolutely love the sound of it. It's very good, and the color options are stunning. I think that's five total. The mocha one, the cosmic mocha one, you have to look at it. It is gorgeous, but I love the obsidian black as well. It matches with my setup really well, because my setup is like blue, black, and white. Overall, the new V Gem 80 is sky approved. 100%. I love Nuvi. Again, I discovered them myself through looking for a low profile keyboard and discovered their Air 60. Was sent their Halo 75, tested out their Field 75, and now I'm testing out the Gem 80 and love all of them all in their own unique way. So if you are super into modding keyboards and collecting keyboards, I would say this is sort of a little bit up there on the price point, but definitely worth it. The packaging is stunning. It comes with everything you need. So many keyboard companies, you get a keyboard and you're like, okay, where is the instruction? Where is the troubleshooting? This comes with very descriptive three manuals. So it's big. If you're a beginner like me or just get confused easily like me, I kid you not, it took me so quick to set it up. Obviously, I was slower because I was filming it, but connecting it to my PC was instantaneously. I hate troubleshooting. It frustrates me. I get confused. And even if you need to troubleshoot, three manuals, nicely packaged, give you a cute little blanket, cute little cover I came with, I showed you. Of course, Bluetooth can be spotty sometimes with these types of keyboards, but you have to troubleshoot. And in my opinion, I think 2.4G is just way more reliable. I think Bluetooth on all keyboards can get spotty at times, especially when battery is low, etc, etc. So, the new VGEM 80 is sky approved. And thank you so much, Nufi Studio, for sending me this. Like I said, I wasn't paid to say this. This is my true, real opinion on it. I'm very easy to please when something's cute, easy to use, and neat and simple and organized. So yes, I'm picky, but if you check off those boxes, I'll usually like it. And I love the sea glass style wrist rest as well. But if you want to get your own Gem 80 or Halo 75 or Field 75 or just get a ghost bar to test it out or just order the raspberry switches because they sound so good or all of that, whatever your little heart desires, use my affiliate code SKY for a discount.